Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem, and this is that. Really? It's disastrous for a president to, even say to be unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy it's was a terrible, like fire. A terrible <laughs> strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities, and quite frankly, Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news, and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. Anyway, as is to provoke the debate, it's left for you, the listener, to judge. Nigeria divided, we stand. No nation can thrive under the present lopsided and deficient leadership structure currently called Nigeria. Even small and medium companies succeed greatly when responsibilities are divided and assigned for collective goals of the group, though with institutional checks and balances. The present arrangement in Nigeria will continue to breed mediocrity, disaffection, and mutual distrust because of the, it's our turn to room mentality of Whilst the region that lays the golden egg, or the economy, believes they should mount the side of governance, irrespective of qualification, it's anyone's rights provided you have school cell certificate anyway. Another region believes that by numerical numbers, they should be allowed to govern in perpetuity. It's the people's call in democracy also. Yet another region believes that their intellect should give them the matter of leadership, also a truism in a democratic setting. While another one believes majority of them who are highly mobile, Republican in nature, entrepreneurially driven and have attempted to secede but we are resisted to a bloody civil war that claimed millions of lives on both sides, consistently believe that they are being shortchanged in the entity called Nigeria because of the war. Even though they have most often shortchanged themselves when it comes to having a go at the highest office. Well, I leave you to be the judge of the genuineness of these calls. I don't even want to mention those in minority like you and I. You may want to ask, must everybody rule? If you ask me, now who I go ask? But remember, in Nigeria, when you rule, you disperse, disperse favor, even if your region doesn't benefit in terms of infrastructure. But at least you have taken a bite of the national cherry on their behalf. Some have argued that the nation was designed by the colonial masters to fail. But if I may ask, is 59 years not long enough to change whatever defective product the British gave us? The First Republic Nigerian seems to understand the regional ideological difference that existed from one region to the other. Hence, their refusal to foist a unifying system on us. All the regions were independent of one another, even though they collaborated in a lot of ways. But today, states can hardly pay salaries, except bailouts come from a benevolent federal government or president. The 1999 constitution is a schedule to decree 24, and yet it claims that in its preamble, we the people of Nigeria, that's a lie against itself anyway, one can argue that since we have assembly men and women that the preamble to the constitution have been fulfilled, can we truly call what we have election or selection? You'll be the judge of that too. Believing against all odds that the current federal unity or turn by turn arrangement will yield meaningful development in this country is a fruitless venture. Each region has its own cultural, traditional, political leadership and religious peculiarity, which is unique to them individually. And I think they should each be allowed to look inward and tap into this trend constitutionally without seeking approval from a benevolent center. No wonder we're more united and progress better that when we are governed along divided lines of regionalism than now that we are governed in pretense as one united people, apart from when we play national football. My advocacy out of this turn-by-turn -turn directionless leadership Presently, bedeviling this country is to divide the nation along regional borders and grant each region fiscal autonomy so that the Yoruba man can deal with his problem separately from the Hausa man, and the Igbo man who will also have to face and deal with their squarely. The fear of the minority can be allayed by aligning them with people of similar culture, tradition, and religion. Then the government at the center, which then will be less bogus and unattractive, can provide its own framework for the coexistence of the Federation unit. That way, even though divided, we should stand stronger, more independent, but yet dependent on one another. I can't argue with any of that, Liboris, actually, so well, I'm just going to leave it there. I, I think this is perhaps, um, you, know, <laughs> you know, the 
uh, the advocacy that I'm spiritually, <laughs> yeah. psychologically Psychology. yeah. attuned with. Yes. Yeah. This, this, this is we've said this before. Yeah. And what kind of country are we? And and this, this is this really is what our founders, founders of of Nigeria, you know, advocated for then. Yeah. You know, the Awala was the Aziki was. This was the regional government that worked then. Yeah. It worked before it was truncated, and I think that if we go back to it, I think it will work for all of us. Why was it truncated, though? I mean, if it was working, who decided that? Oh, yeah. we'll change things up. And, no, I mean, you, know. you, you had the military, you had, you, you had the, the, the disturbances. The, it was Greece. great. You had the disturbances in, in the 66 in the Western region, yeah. which, you know, sort of Wetia. oppression, Wetia, Wetia. which Wetia. led to a lot of things. And the military intervened, and you had the coup. The the yeah, they invited the, the military. They invited the military. Yeah. The and then there was coup a subsequent coup. And the oh. Kaduna Zogu's later. coup. And then, of course, when the military works better by yeah, that's right yes. from so the top. The, yes. the yeah. way the nature of the military itself, when the military took over, it was inevitable that they had to create a unitary Federal. government. And you know, unfortunately, General J T U Johnson Thomas Umunakwe Aguiye Ransi was killed for what we are. For, for trying to unify Nigeria. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And yet today, the people that killed Agui Ronsi for trying to unify an entity that shouldn't be operated under a unity system and enjoying and telling yeah. us that the best way to, to, stay to, together. to focus it's, is yeah. to stay together. Because when you have a gluten in the family, he insists that you eat together mm. because he knows he will eat more. <laughs> yes, yes, more. Absolutely, exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's in this year because it seems like everybody is in agreement. Nobody wants to say anything else. No, but really, because mm. that's the way we can mm. move forward. Mm. Some is, people think is. that um, we'll be uh, we'll not be united. For me, football will unite us. That's no, even because you know? even each region, like like each region, yes. each region we can bring yeah. something to the table. Don't we don't have, have to be divided. Yes. divided. Yeah. Yeah. Strong and point. Exactly, mm. we'll have our strong point, and so. No one has it all, mm. and that's why we all need each other. Mm. You know, but allow us to develop, you know, at our own pace. At our own pace. Mm. The West were better in the First Republic. Do you know that the Obafemi Awolo University that was built in the First um, uh, Republic, till date that we have more money, we cannot build another yeah, one like that. Better universities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bello, those Cut. days, yeah. it was pride as the they call it the largest university south of the Sahara. Of Sahara. Those today, were in the man. First Republic, but mm. today. We build mushroom universities, mm. we call them um, citadels of learning. Mm. You know, so because there will be competition. Cocoa was developed in the West yeah. because they had to focus on, not this attitude of everybody run to Abuja, you sit down. Absolutely. If you don't let us chop, make yes. we scatter around. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. It, it yeah, I imagine the fixation on rice. Mm. Uh, exactly. would have, the northern region would have been focused enough to deal yes. with rice. Yeah. They, without us, without all the other problems, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then they can come forward and trade rice with me. Exactly. Yes. Quite frankly. Yeah. Um, and so everything sort of has collapsed because of the unit, this unitary government. Um, I, I know that the reason why Nigerians have a penchant for wanting to be on top. Mm. And that's why we're not going to let go of the presidential system very easily, because it puts somebody on top, yes. although that somebody is with his group. Mm. Okay. So it puts a top. group on top. And that's what it's all about. So it's actually about when me and liberals will get to be the group on top, as opposed to why don't we have a system where Emeka is looking after his corner, uh, Sandra looks after her corner, and somehow we meet at a table to discuss, mm. uh, you know. Quick question though. So. Um, you know, after this regionalization, as you've talked about, what becomes of the federal? Uh, it will be less attractive. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Less attractive. Less. Switzerland, Switzerland runs such a canton. Yes. 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 So you have this, the you have the German side, you have the Italian side, you have yes. the French side. French side so yes. they run what they call cantons, which is a, a it's like a confederation. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it is. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So you see, have the the Swiss government, government. which yes. looks after the military, the military and uh, foreign affairs. Yeah. Foreign yeah. Foreign and foreign they're not dabbling into. But they're not dabbling into the. Uh, yeah. Don't you still think that all of this, you know, even though it's less attractive, but there is still something in there in the conference? Well, there was always, I mean, well, yeah. It's in, it's it's staying un, un, united, yeah. staying unified. Well, I don't, the way Nigeria is right now, the way I'm we are definitely ready for the us way we to, are. It is so to, bad now that I never want to conduct election for local governments. Mm. It is that bad. Yeah. And, and so you ask yourself, let's not delude ourselves. Yes, we are Nigerian, but there are peculiarities to every region. Why don't we tap into those peculiarities, make the center less attractive, except you truly want to serve. That's what takes you there. That's yeah. what takes you there, yes. But now that, because 
a situation where the center will collect everything, everything. and share to everybody like you know, a godfather kind of thing, it becomes very difficult for anybody to truly want to work. Yeah, well. Okay. well, we appreciate that we may well have to give you some time to ponder this advocacy. We look forward to your verdict, but in the meantime, I make a suggest that we have been for nine by stock market people after the break. I can't wait to listen. Yeah.